Hey, what's going on guys? It is Street Crypto here and in today's video I'm going to talk about three altcoins that you should be buying during this dip. So obviously Bitcoin has dipped quite a bit in the last couple of hours, nearly 8%. And I'm going to highlight some key altcoins that have been doing really well uh, and consider picking these up because I think these prices uh, are really, really good for some entries at the moment. So the first one I'm going to mention is VeChain. If we have a look at the seven day, we can see that VeChain hit a high of over 18 cents, 18.23 cents, uh, just on the 11th of November. And then we got a wick down to near enough 13.5 cents. If you don't know what VeChain is, essentially it fixes a lot of issues with supply chain management and aims to do that with blockchain. And supply chain management is a really big industry at the moment. Uh, these are some of the issues it's facing, including metal uh, scarcity, uh, freight prices, demand forecasting, etc., etc. And with uh, a lot of restrictions and a lot of issues around COVID right now, VeChain is certainly going to be one of these cryptos that is going to be really, really big in the future. Um, but quickly, I'm just going to go into where you should be buying VeChain. So VeChain is currently at 14.9 cents, as I mentioned before. And we're testing support at around about this level at 14.9 cents. Now, obviously, Bitcoin has caused majority of this dump, uh, but we've got a wick down to nearly 13.6 cents just around here. And this is where I had uh, a decent amount of entries right there. Um, so since then, we've had a quite a decent recovery. And looking on the 15 minute, we can see that VeChain actually uh, has recovered pretty v-shapedly on the 15 minute right here but we're not really out of the woods yet this could have been just a resetting of the uh, rsi and a few other indicators at the moment so i would be a little bit careful still uh, with where you're placing your orders now i have set more orders in for vchain and i'm looking at buying it at around uh, the 14.3 to 14 level now i don't think 13.5 is going to come again because uh, this wick was just massive and usually these wicks we can we've seen them multiple times throughout uh, they close quite a bit above where they wick on the four hours so I don't think we're gonna close really uh, you know somewhere down here unless we get another move down which is possible but I would say for now uh, where I'm looking at a wick towards the 14 cent mark and this is where you should be setting your buy orders and then eventually the bigger trend is obviously down with VeChain. Uh, with most cryptos right now, we got a quite a big downtrend. Right here, we got a breakout of the downtrend, but obviously a pushback down under. And if we were to flip bullish again, as right now things are looking a bit uh, bearish, I would say producing a new high close above uh, around about the 16.5 cent mark would see us flip bullish again. But that was the first crypto. The next one I want to mention is Polkadot. So Polkadot, uh, I'm sure you guys know what that is. It's currently sitting at $41. The reason I chose it for my top three altcoins to buy during the dip is because of these parachain slot auctions. Now, they have already started. They started a few days ago, but they, I imagine the hype is going to keep going. And considering uh, DOT was at $55 just a few days ago, I think the opportunity for, the, for buying is really at the, where we are right now. As we can see, before we got this uh, big move right here, we saw the support at around about $40, and this is where I have more buy orders, and you should be buying, uh, you know, regressively towards the $40 mark. This is just an easy pickup for DOT, and is an easy 10 to 20% if you guys uh, just hold on long enough. Now, things are looking uh, relatively overextended in terms of of uh, the RSI, it looks oversold, so we could see a reversal here. But I would say still around about the 41 to 40 dollar mark, just set your buy orders right here at the moment. We're down nearly uh, around about 25% since the high on the 7th of November. So if you just wait a little bit, uh, there are profits of up to around about uh, 30 to 33% to be made with DOT if you just hold on that little bit longer. Uh, but the next one I want to mention is Theta. Now, if you don't know what Theta is, Theta essentially is a uh, a crypto that is a blockchain powered network purpose built for video streaming. So it's trying to uh, influence the video streaming sector. And Theta is one of my biggest gems in terms of large cap. And I think it's going to have a really, really good recovery. If we have a look at the four hour, we can see uh, Theta produced highs of $8.50 just three days ago. And this is where I sold my Theta. I felt we uh, you know, were, were extended and I saw this double top as I predicted in my last video 
uh, and we got a push back down. Now, Theta is currently at support at $6.50, and this is where I'm really buying uh, Theta. It just looks more overextended than other cryptos, uh, and it looks like a V-shaped recovery could be on the cards relatively soon. Uh, so this is where I think you should be buying Theta, at around about support uh, towards, uh, you know, somewhere between around about 6.1 to 6.3. Now, these are where most of my orders are set. And, um, yeah, these were my top three altcoins to buy during the dip. There are plenty more out there, but these are the three I think are going to have a really, really good recovery in a short amount of time. Uh, now, just be careful with the Bitcoin. The downward trend has started to form on the four hours, so just keep that in mind. But that was just a quick video. If you guys want me to check out any other cryptos, let me know down below. But I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.